education. Okay. Well, there are two pieces I would like to just cite. Dr. Gordon Allport, in his classic piece entitled The Nature of Prejudice, he indicates in there that we have to understand this legacy, this history, in order for us to come to the table and have a true dialogue about it. Dr. Alan Johnson, another sociologist, has a book entitled Privilege, Power, and Difference, where he also reiterates that whole phenomenon, how we have to understand what has occurred in the past. We have to be familiar with the terms, the legacy the, of the past in order to be able to move forth in a very positive way. We can't act as if we are oblivious to what happened in the past and everything out of our smokes is just going to get better and everything is just going to be real smooth for the 21st century in higher education. So by understanding it, I think educators can come to grips with it. And that coming to grips with it means that we have to have a curriculum, some sensitivity to ethnic diversity, some sensitivity to how we should go about having classes. And that's why I think the historical African American University mm -hmm. is still so important as we move into this 21st century, particularly the places like Tennessee State University, Fisk University, you know, Jackson State University, North Carolina Central, Howard University, Lincoln University, mm -hmm. all of these schools and many more still have this in, as a primary mission mm -hmm. within their curriculum to try to help students to do better and prepare them, as we all know, mm -hmm. for, for all levels of not mm -hmm. only education but specializations. Mm -hmm. You know, let's uh, talk about these uh, historical black colleges yes. by giving uh, our audience, uh, oh, before we have our second uh, commercial break, two or three minutes, mm -hmm. uh, for some information relative to these institutions themselves and how these okay. institutions 